Good morning. It is Saturday morning and we are doing something very fun today. <laughs> I'm following Byron to work. Byron is my evil corporate <laughs> corporate dentist husband. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Should I keep that in there? Yeah. <laughs> so last time me and Byron filmed a video about corporate dentistry and we got the most atrocious, <laughs> awful comments from people who are like, corporate dentistry is the worst, corporate dentistry is the worst, and like in a more mean way than that. So <laughs> I thought it would be very interesting to vlog today. Um, Byron does work on two Saturdays a month and I'll just show you like what he does. We're on the way there and we are taking the baby. So the baby's kind of cranky because we woke him up to go to work with daddy. Unfortunately, I'm sitting back here with the baby, but I'm going to interview Byron. Can you please describe how your office is laid out? Like how many ops you have, how many employees there are, um, how big it is, etc. go. I have 13 chairs, three doctors that work. Those are general dentists, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Three hygienists that work different days. Usually I'll have one hygienist a day. Every specialist come to the office at least once or twice a month, except for ortho, who comes in seven times a month. Um, I'm staffed to support each of my doctors with at least two assistants. I have a manager and three girls that work in front. What, what type of schedule do you have today? Today is Saturday, and so is it different every day or is like today a little bit different because it's a weekend? I like for Saturdays, especially if I don't have a hygienist, to not include too many checkup exams because uh, it's just difficult to accommodate checkups and do their cleanings. Um, when the demand for Saturdays is so high. Are you uh, an associate, are you an owner? I, I think people know this already. Yeah, I'm an owner. Well, I mean, marginally so. I own part of my office. A lot of the aspects of what an owner does or a business owner does are largely out of my hands. So I don't really consider myself an owner. A lot of people go into corporate dentistry thinking, oh, corporate's gonna take care of the business side for me and all I have to do is the dentistry. Have you found that to be true? Mostly. PDS handles <laughs> a lot of that stuff. They ask me to get involved very marginally. Like, they'll ask me, they'll say something like, uh, do you wanna use any dollars on marketing? And these are the ways we can market. And I go, sure. <laughs> and they'll ask me to choose and I'll go okay that makes this makes sense or that makes sense for a situation or if it's for staffing they'll say hey you need this extra person because your 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 numbers show that you have a need for this position and I'll go okay and then they'll task me with p picking the person after they presented candidates to me so and they do all the uh, you know recruiting and stuff like that. So really, I'm, a, uh, I'm just sort of a glorified decision maker. That's a good start. I just think people want to see the behind the scenes, you know? At the evil corporate lair. Ah! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> okay, this is Byron's room. Sarek, op one, Woo. Piano, another up. Here, are a bunch of ops. I'm not gonna show any patients. This is the lab room. More ops. X-ray room. Lab room again. Op, op. Bathrooms. Another op. I told you this place is never ending. It's so big, it's like a maze over here. How's daddy's work? It's 
so we brought his pack and play and we just put it in one of the I think this is like a off that has no um, chair in it so like it's kind of like a break room I brought donuts nobody wants to eat donuts eat the donuts people Hi. Oh. so I thought that I was gonna be able to vlog a lot here but there's so much traffic like there are so many patients because of ortho you know like ortho is like braces and so they see lots of like kids and it's just like non-stop so um just because i don't want to violate hipaa i haven't really been able to bring the camera around too much because i'm like oh my god maybe a patient's gonna be around the corner or something so Maybe when things die down or like it's lunchtime or something, I'll show you guys around a little bit more. Hi! Hey! <laughs> Hi! Hello! What a hard worker you are today. <laughs> we should take pictures. We gotta take um, Dr. Jefferson's kids' pictures down. Put our kids' pictures down. <laughs> we should take over that whole wall. Let's just take over the whole Yeah. I'll take so one, <laughs> two. Is he smiling? Is he smiling? You're gonna give him shaken baby syndrome. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hi, baby. Hi. Hi, daddy. How was your morning? I barely saw Byron all morning. Been busy. He's been very busy. Back to back to back. Maybe I'll poop him. <sighs> we finally made it to Redondo for the opening and I brought this donut. It's totally smashed. Oh well. Okay, come on Preston. He's sleeping. In the wheel. Yeah, I did the GPR as well. Yeah, but like two years ago. Thank you so much for being here. Awesome. Raffle ticket! Yay! Oh, thank you. Huh? This is the office. Ooh. Look how pretty. Hi! <laughs> Thanks for coming! Yay. <laughs> Congratulations! Thanks so much! I love it! I want to see the whole thing! Yeah, this is going to be a later on in the doctor's office, but right now I'm going to work through the complications. Did you design this? I did, myself. It's so yeah. pretty! I love so, it! machine, so we have a console right here. Ooh, glass! Instagram wall. <laughs> First off here. Second off. Ooh. This is a lot of sterilization. This is where I'm gonna put the So clean. <laughs> I was like detailing it all weekend, but it's not usually this clean. This is where the CT or uh, the 3D scanners or 3D printers. Go. That's what I want! <laughs> <laughs> it's not that much. It's not that much. It's not, I just don't have the space. This is the uh, off three Ooh, little, but sorry. Do you play the yeah. drums? I play drums, guitar, or bass. Ooh, nice! This is our first So, here are we back So clean! I love it! It's so pretty! You did such a good job. Thank you, thank you. It's been a long time coming. Yay! That was a awesome opening. I only got to stay here a little bit because Preston started like screaming. So I dashed out, but congrats to Anthony. 
Man, love his office. So pretty. If you're in Redondo, go check it out. Now I am back at Byron's practice and uh, I don't know, did he fall asleep? He stopped, he stopped being grumpy, so. Let's see where Byron's at. He's supposed to have finished his crown and a few extra patients and then I think it's like 1.30, so he might be done a little early today. We are done with work. It's 1.56 so we're driving We? Home. <laughs> as much as I could of Byron's office. I did a little tour. It's like so many operatories. It's humongous. Do you know what the score, square footage is? 4,000. I think it's more than that. It looks like it's more than 4,000. Yeah. I mean, it might be 5,000. Maybe 5,000. But anyways, just for comparison, my office is 750 square feet. <laughs> um, two, two chairs. So there are many different ways that you can practice. It's sort of like the main takeaway. And it is what you make of it, in my opinion. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't like working at PDS? I didn't say that. Then what'd you could say meh, 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 meh. Working at PDS is a good fit. Because Are I Are you? Yeah. I don't want to do any of the private office management stuff. Um, and, you know, yeah. <laughs> that's it. I guess that's, that's it. That's it? You just don't, you just want to be, why don't, so if you don't want to manage anything, then why don't you just be an associate? Well, as an associate, you get sort of depending upon your situation. If you work for the, if you work for a doctor that is, I don't know how to say this. A pusher? In a the pusher. wrong situation, you'll be forced to perform treatment and diagnose treatment uh, based on what the owner you don't do that then very likely you'll be fired yeah or you'll leave because you'll hate it yeah so i see i mean to be honest that that's the pds or that's the corporate situation that most people know of yeah right it exists it's, i mean it's not that's not necessarily a bad thing because the person the, the purpose of that is to make you a productive profitable dentist which so like if you want to make money that might be the ideal way to go because they'll make sure you make money. Yeah. But you basically are just a... Just a workhorse? A workhorse at them. Yeah. yeah. I think like people are motivated by different things sometimes. A lot of other people are very, very driven by success and by money and there's nothing wrong with that. How many patients did you see today? I saw 12 patients. 12 patients in how many hours is that? So six or seven, six hours. And wow, that's a lot of patients. I feel like that's a lot of patients to see in six hours. However, a lot of them were like post-ops and stuff, right? Actual working on the patients would maybe about eight. I think that's a lot of patients still. I see like one patient every one and like for a crown or something I have an hour and a half scheduled so one patient every hour and a half something like that I would like that schedule you would like that schedule if well come up. work for me however I, I would say that Byron is very much more productive than me in terms of making money not this month not this month no this month I've been do you think I